him. <laughs> okay, so maybe epic isn't quite epic enough, but I think you get the idea. And I know I might not actually sound insanely enthused when I say epic, but this isn't God of War. This is God of War 3. The first was epic. The second was epic. So are you genuinely shocked and amazed that the third one isn't Grass Grower 2010? I mean, this isn't X-Men. You'll follow the lovable fuzzy bear that is Kratos. Your son has returned. While he marches onward to glorious patricide. He loves, he learns, he kills. Mostly kills. I normally tend to rag on quick time events, but since God of War is kind of the godfather of modern quick time events, I can mostly let that slide. Mainly since it's used really well and most of the time you'll need it during actual combat, not just... <laughs> on top of which, there's quick time titties. Great. Totals. This is definitely for mature audiences only. Parents should not let their children watch this. Now, there's something creepy here. Pushing shapes so I can stick it in a hole. I've played this before. On to more obvious stuff, graphics are pretty, in particular the motion blur, which might be the best real-time motion blur I've ever seen. And I know I tend to lobby for nostalgia and the good old days, but I gotta admit, disemboweling centaurs back in 8-bit era didn't have quite the same pizzazz. Squeezy. And remember how you thought the bosses and demon souls were big? Yeah. Platforming and puzzles are kind of an afterthought, so it's not really the focus here. They're not awful. I mean, the puzzles are decent. But we're here for the fighting, and that's what we're going to talk about. And frankly, the fighting is fucking solid as shit. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's really solid. Like 3D Zelda solid, and that's saying a lot. It's not really surprising, because it's not that much different from previous God of War. So, I mean, you kind of started this dance already knowing the steps, sort of, maybe. Excellent collision detection, excellent yada yada, excellent curve. It's not perfect, though. While weapon switching is all fine and well, there's a needless redundancy built in, where hitting a few other buttons will allow you to cycle through weapons one at a time. I'm not saying I'm against control redundancies as a rule, you know, whatever works but it just doesn't here. Too many of the same buttons used for punchy kicky are incorporated into one at a time weapon scrolling, meaning all too often you'll end up cycling weapons accidentally in like heated fights, and that's just fucking annoying. Especially if you're relying on a blade's special ability and a quick pinch only to waste your last sliver of magic on the wrong move. In the same way, the Rage of Sparta move is also way too easy to set off by accident. Sad face. But more importantly than either of those, the lock-on, not the arrow lock-on, but like the grab people, which isn't just an attack, but a really great getaway move. Even if you point it at the right guy, it's really just gonna lock on to whatever the game thinks you should lock on to, like the most powerful dude in the room. And on harder modes, where you're not button mashing, but like everything has to be strategic or you're just dead as shit right away, that's really fucking annoying. You know, sometimes you gotta take out all the little guys before you take on a big guy, and every time you jump up, you lock on a big guy. Yeah. On top of which, the camera, which you have no control over in its locked position, it does its job as a camera pretty well, but if an enemy is anywhere close to the camera or behind you, even if it's closer than somebody that you can see in your own field of view, you're not gonna lock onto them. So, meow, meow, I say meow. Now that's not to say that's bad. The reason I'm bitching about it so much is because the combat in this game is some of the best in video game history, frankly. Like, it re really is up there with 3 Zelda combat. But that makes these frustrations so much worse! <sighs> Sometimes you kind of feel like they didn't know what to do with all the items. So, like, you got these boots that are speedy, yay! And you don't really ever need them. You know, you can only use them in, like, a handful of spots in the whole game, and half of those spots are right after you get them, so you can learn how to use them. And then you never need them! What is this, an ice rod? Actually, you know what? I used the ice rod. So no, no, it's not the ice rod. 
The general movement, yada yada, really solid. The way you can dodge with the second control stick, really solid. And if you dare play on the fucking hardest mode, shit like block and counter attack and dodge are, you know, your most used buttons ever and you really fucking appreciate them really fucking fast. There's a very limited number of games with varying difficulty levels where the quality is so high that it just demands you play it on its hardest mode. This is one of those games. Let me put it this way, playing this game on its hardest mode and like progressing to new save points makes me feel good about myself as like a person. Self-esteem is for everybody. All right, you ready? Let's do this. China Award. Cause, well, duh. <laughs> Ugh.